Welcome. Come on. Welcome back once again, Spazites. This is Gizmo Spaz. Once again, coming at you live from the internet. But not live, because this is pre-recorded. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, sorry about that, uh... That delay before I started talking. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm not sick, I swear. Come on. No, let's... Come on, gimme. There we go. Yep. Okay, there we go. Hi. <laughs> anyway, as you can see behind us, we have the uh, Creo Micro Changers Series 2. I'm going to get off screen here, and we're going to go ahead and look at the Autobot and Decepticon vehicle modes. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Woo. First of all, we have... Let's uh, start with our Decepticons today. Let me uh, shuffle this up a little. Boom, 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 boom. Decepticons. First of all, we have Hard Shell. Hard Shell does not use uh, One Piece, his legs, his helmet, or his guns for his bug mode, his insect mode. Now, he is an Insecticon. I believe he's based off of... Uh, I don't think the, the character's name is Hard Shell. I forgot. Oh, goodness. I forgot what his original name was. But, yeah... Here he is in his Insecticon glory, and he looks cool. Uh, I do prefer the actual minifigure builds of all of these guys, except for a limited few. But, I mean, yeah, he's obviously a stag beetle, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, second, we have... Uh, oh, I got these out of order. Uh, second, we have is Blight. Now, I'm not familiar with who Blight is, but he's some sort of terror con, I think. But yeah, this is his uh, his beast mode. He's, uh, yeah. I don't know what he's supposed to be. I know he looks a little like the Sharktacon, I think, when he's in his uh, beast mode as well. Uh, looks like I have not done... Sharktacon yet though, so I'm not I may not be remembering this correctly. I think Sharktacon is in the next or gnaw, whatever he's called, is in the next uh, wave. He actually gets two of those little neck brackets to uh build this like this. He's not very strong. I actually lost this whole back section when I was trying to put him together because I was trying to push this down and everything just kind of exploded on me. But this is Blight. I'm not sure who Blight is. I'm gonna have to look that one up. This is one of my more favorite ones. This is another one of our Seekers. This is uh, Acid Wing, a.k.a. Acid Storm. He's one of the Rainmakers. And, uh, yeah, he just he looks cool, obviously. He does suffer from the, oh, it's a robot laying on its belly sickness. But <laughs> he looks cool this way, and he looks just as cool in his bot mode, which we will uh, be looking at the second half of this video. <clears throat> Next we have... Vehicon. Now, I believe this is from Transformers Prime, where there was just a whole ton of Vehicons, and uh, there were car ones and plane ones. I think there's a Vehicon plane in one of these series as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a handful more of these just so I can reenact from some Transformers Prime scenes from Creo. Because, well, I mean, it'd be cool just to have an army of these generic Vehicons, just like in the cartoon. Oh, let's see. Next is Scourge. Now, I believe Scourge was one of the uh, later Seekers from the, uh, the movie, the original Transformers animated movie. There was Scourge and... Wow, I cannot remember anything. But Scourge, yeah, he was one of the uh, weird boat planes from the original Transformers movie. I think, actually, I think Hardshell might have been turned into Scourge. I don't remember. Uh, or maybe that's one of those up for debate topics. But yeah, he looks like a a, a, a weird little shuttle. He actually looks a little like our uh, our space shuttle from Series One, whose name I also can't remember. Was it Blastoff? But yeah, he's. He's just a brick, and once again, he's a robot laying on his belly <laughs> with some kibble on the back. Uh, last of the Decepticons 
is a character from Transformers Animated. We have Lugnut. Lugnut's vehicle mode looks really cool. He is an airplane, just like in Transformers Animated. It looks like we were a little animated heavy in this series, which is fine by me. Transformers Animated is an amazing series. Uh, we also get some animated and prime character crossovers, which we'll get into shortly. But yeah, Lugnut is pretty cool. I love his robot mode as well. We'll get into that. But here's his uh, his aircraft carrier mode. No, not aircraft carrier. That would be a boat. A giant ship. Uh, he's It's like a big bomber. Uh, you know, a big bomber plane. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> oh, man. I suck at this. <laughs> okay. More Transformers animated and prime goodness. We have Bulkhead here. Bulkhead is cool. I love this little vehicle mode. It looks... I mean, it doesn't look exactly like his animated counterpart, but... I mean, you can tell, <laughs> and I do like it. It's really cute. He just looks like a, a tank, and it's 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 adorable. Next is uh, a G1 character. We have Hoist. You can see his little uh, towing bar in the back, and yeah, he's just a little tow truck, and uh, he's adorable. Let's see. Next is oh, we have. Protectobot Groove, the Autobot police motorcycle. He's got a gun on the side. One of his legs acts as a kickstand. The other one is a, a tire in the center. And then he's got two tires in the front. Now, one of these tires pops off really easily. So I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to lose the tire. Especially during the middle of a recording a video. Uh, next, we have another G1 character. We have Autobot Perceptor. Uh, yeah. I don't really have much to say about that. <laughs> Autobot Perceptor. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite G1 characters. Whoops. We have Power Glide here. I loved Power Glide. That's one of the few figures I had as a kid. Uh, his airplane mode looks really cool. His bot mode isn't isn't quite as cool in my opinion. Uh, I actually this is one where I actually like the. Uh, the vehicle mode better, or the alt mode better. And then last but not least, for the first half of the video, is Autobot RC. Got her little pink car here. I believe one of her wheels falls off easily, because the hands just don't grip these wheels very tightly. But here's Autobot RC, and she looks... Just, it, this is an adorable little build. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't look anything like her original G1 vehicle mode, but man... I don't care. It's it's still, it's pink. It's obviously RC. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, she doesn't use her guns or her head and helmet for this uh, alternate build. I know I didn't go over that with all of them, but, I mean, you can see it all laid out in front of us, what pieces aren't used. But here's RC, and she's adorable. And there goes that tire. <laughs> so we'll just put her back down over here. And uh, we're going to do a quick cut while we... Uh, put these all into their their robot modes be right back all right spazites i'm back once again after a little manicure and dinner <laughs> i took a long break <laughs> a very long break <laughs> we also went out for cold stone creamery not sponsored hashtag not sponsored i am not sponsored i'd love to be sponsored but anyway here we have our 12 creons in their robot modes first we're gonna start out with hard shell he looks really cool i love i love this creon and he's so cool look at him and i was looking up and i i think the actual insecticon's name is hard shell so there yeah <laughs> let's go ahead and put hard shell back here with the rest of our decepticons ah, next we have blight once again blight and this is uh him in his robot mode he does not look very different at all he's got a handful of spare parts in my baggie of spare parts here and, uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with Blight. I am going to have to look him up still and see exactly who he is, but there he is. He's a cute Creon, regardless. Or irregardless? I think it's just regardless. I think the, we came up with that a while ago. Next, we have 
Acid Wing in all of his glory. Now, Acid Wing had some extra pieces, just like Sunstorm back here, that could have made this same exact weapon, but with a different color. But it wasn't in the instructions, so I'm just going to go with what the instructions say, and that's just a generic Seeker, but in green. He doesn't have a special weapon or anything to go along with him. But he does look pretty cool up to uh, Sunstorm here. Acid Storm and Sunstorm. You can see he's got kind of a scowl, whereas, well, they both have a scowl, but he's got a slanted scowl. And that's, as far as I can tell, the only difference in their faces. I think a lot of these uh, Creons have the same faces. Put him back there with the rest. And then we have, let's see, we have our generic Vehicon, which, like I said before, I think I want to get a bunch of. This is from Transformers Animated. I mean, uh, Transformers Prime. And his, uh, oh man, his whole head wants to come off in the helmet. You can see in there that his, uh, his face looks uh, very different from the other Creons. And crap, his helmet isn't on. Ah, there we go. There, now that's nice and straight. Anyway, yeah, there's our Vehicon. Ah! No, Acid Wing, no. Stay up, please. Oh, no. Then we have Scourge. You can see Scourge, he's got his... His a goatee and and mustache there. His uh, his Van Dyke, I believe. No, the Van Dyke actually connects at the lower, lower lip, doesn't it? So I'm not sure exactly what to call that, but he's got his his original scourge mustache goatee going on. Ah, these guys keep falling down. And then uh, last of the Decepticons, we have Lugnut in all of his little Lugnutty glory. He just looks so bulky, just like the original Lugnut from Animated. And oh, did Lugnut return for Prime like like Bulkhead did? I don't remember. Unless I'm completely mistaken and Lugnut was from Prime and not Animated. Either way, here's Lugnut. Cool, fun character. He just looks beefy and bulky, so that's cool. Okay, our first Autobot then. As mentioned before, we have Bulkhead here. Look at him. He just looks so friendly. He is just a big, friendly lug. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have his big wrecking ball hands. He does have a couple of guns, though, on the sides, which is pretty cool. He does have his wings that look like his, uh, his canopy that folds up over him in bot mode. I have the original Bulkhead toy for Transformers Animated, and I am a fan of that figure. I didn't like him initially, but I did grow to like him quite a bit. We're going to put him over there by by the Autobots. And next we have our, our G1 Hoist in robot mode, who looks cool. He's got his uh, hoist on the back, which is also really cool. And yeah, once again, he actually has uh, a handful of parts in our bag as well. You can see those bright green parts in there. And then uh, after Hoist, we have Autobot Groove. Now he's actually listed as Autobot Groove on his instruction manual. And I think that's because they can't just say Groove. I don't think they can trademark the, just the word Groove. But here he is. He does have two wheels. I'm assuming one is supposed to be the front wheel and one is the back wheel. And uh, there's his handlebars on the back. There isn't a whole lot to him. He has a couple of parts in the bag of spare parts. Now, I will take another look at him when I do the Protectabots uh, Micro Changer set. Uh, next, we have Perceptor. The only thing that changed on Perceptor is that we put his head on after we tilted this... We took this little square piece off of his foot and this other little square piece off of his other foot and added those to this. That's the only thing that changed. He barely had any kind of change at all from his uh, his alt mode to his robot vehicle mode. Oh no, I'm not going over Decepticons over here, but that's okay because they're just Decepticons! Uh, next we have Power Glide, who I'm actually really upset about. He kept falling apart on me his waist comes off really easy and these wings keep falling off the back i almost just want to keep him like that he doesn't look as good obviously because power glide needs his wings on the sides that's part of his original transformation was those a big part was those wings and these just because because they're not lego and this i find this with a lot of not Lego brick brands that these 
they just don't want to stay. They just can't. They, they're just, they're not as precise. And look, there's his waist again. It just kind of fell off in my hands while I was trying to do this. So we're just going to set Power Glide. He died. Megatron ripped him in half. Poor Power Glide. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, we have the alluring RC. Look at that lipstick. She's all like, Hey, big boy, what you doing? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's just wrong. RC actually has a lot of pieces from her alt mode in here, which is a little disappointing, but she does have, you know, I mean... RC is very sleek in her robot mode anyway, so... Yeah, she does get two guns, though. She's a dual wielder, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that's that's it for the uh, Series 2. Next, we're going to do Series 3, and then I'm going to be doing much shorter videos of two or three packs at a time of Series 4 and 5. Uh, I'm not going to do them all at once, though, so... I do apologize if you're used to my actual Lego builds and my Lego reviews, but this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I love Transformers so much. Transformers has been on my mind a lot lately. So I wanted to start dipping into these. I had these uh, pulled out of my storage unit a long time ago purposely just for this reason, and I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. So anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, happy hunting. Be kind, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. The virus is still a thing. It's still out there. Goodbye, everybody.